Haggard Equine Medical Institute in Lexington is the oldest and one of the largest private equine veterinary practices in the world. Welcome to uh, Dr. Heitz's uh, mobile vet clinic, basically. <laughs> Dr. Natalie Heitz, a 2012 University of Kentucky graduate, is a field care vet for Haggard, visiting horse farms on a daily basis. COVID-19 struck during the breeding season for the horse industry, forcing Dr. Heitz to alter her practices. But she says biosecurity has always been a priority at Haggard. Biosecurity isn't foreign to us as veterinarians and our clients for that matter. So in this case, you know, it's not the horse we're watching out for most of the time. Now it's humans. So, you know, just taking proper precautions like we've always done, quarantining and as well as, um, you know, just keeping everything clean and watch that. Another large animal veterinarian who attended UK is Dr. Chris Jolly, who has a contract with the Bluegrass Stockyards, working cattle there a couple of days a week. The stockyards are an essential part of the food chain, and animal health is an important part of that. Dr. Jolly says he hasn't drastically had to change the way he does business because in his practice, he's been socially distancing since before it was a thing to do. We're dealing kind of one on one at a time most of the time or if we go to a farm there's usually you know maybe one person the farmer and maybe if he's got a few people helping and, and everybody's usually pretty spread out you might have one or two people standing at the chute and the other people will be back at the alley moving cattle or something so it's it's kind of we've been social distancing for a long time. Small animal veterinarians who have a practice where clients come to them might be more affected during the pandemic at the Animal Hospital of Nicholasville, routine visits have been suspended. Only patients needing urgent care are seen. Just pets are permitted inside through a decontamination room where they are cleaned with a disinfectant, seen by the doctor, and then returned to their owners. Clients here at the Animal Hospital of Nicholasville are asked to stay behind this white line or in their vehicles with their pets until they are called to either drop them off or pick them up. This is a clean place to begin with, but uh, it's a clean place on steroids now. Uh, doorknobs wiped down, uh, and that's done multiple times a day. Uh, we don't handle any money. It is uh, all done by plastic over the phone. Dr. Dan Bowling, who owns the practice with Dr. Stacy Burdick, both attended UK and are Auburn Vet School grads. Doctors Mark and Tammy Smith, small animal vets at Barberville in Southeast Kentucky, say they face similar challenges. You would think we wouldn't be as busy because you're not seeing the, the normal caseload. But I think because of the way we have to do it, you know, with the curbside and limiting the foot traffic, it takes longer to, to work up your sick or emergent cases. The small animal clinics also have been using telemedicine and video conferencing to communicate with their clients. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.